Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we've got a little bit different build out for you, and you're like, well, what in the world is this? This seems to be like way kind of back in the day, you know, we've all kind of probably built one of these at some point. Well, you know, I I have a heart for kids, and because I have three of them of my own, and I've seen how much my 15-year-old almost 16. I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, I've seen how much he has enjoyed getting into the hobby and I really wanted to build a trainer. Now I wanted to build a trainer that was not, I didn't want a small trainer. You know, you could train them on a whoop or something small. I wanted something that we could go to a, a you know, a more open field and something that was big enough Number one, you know, when they get big, they get really stable. The larger props just make them really stable. But also that it can be seen because in the beginning, I'm going to teach them line of sight just to learn the basic controls, right? And so I wanted something that could be seen in the air. And um, so I decided to go with this. This is actually, um, these are basically clones of the DJI 450. And this one is done by Diatone. It's actually a pretty nice clone. Um, really good quality. Some of the arms that are on some of the cheaper ones that you can get for like 15 bucks on, on eBay are, are not very good. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this built. And um, I just want to kind of go over it with you. And this is going to be built to be really stable and something that they can see in the air really easy. I'm going to put some orientation um, LEDs on it for them. But the main thing is that they can, as we first, as they first learn that they can hover it easy, you know, we can be a distance away. And I, this is just how I wanted to do it. So what are we going to use? Well, we first talked about this is the 450 from Diatone, the Q450. So it's 450 millimeters from prop to prop once it's built comes with a standard um, you do have a power distribution board with no voltage regulator so we're going to add that for a camera well I had a 1200 TVL sitting here and I really like that camera it's a good camera for um, things if you're using uh, 16 by 9 like the Dominator V3s um, so that's that's what I'm using for the receiver at this point, I may change it, but at this point, we're going to go with the TBS Unify. This is the Pro. This is switchable up to 800 milliwatts. I may switch to just a standard uh, 200 or 600 milliwatt. I don't know. Um, for ESCs, well, these are from Banggood, and this is the Predator. This is a 30 amp BL Heli ESC, and it does have. Um, a 5 volt regulator on there so actually you know what I may not need I have to spec everything out I, I won't need um, any voltage regulators with this because everything that I'm going to run this runs off of 5 volts and so does my flight controller I'll have to see how many amps let me see if I can see that right off the bat I don't know I'll have to see how many amps the 5 volt regulator is on here to see if it's enough but um, for flight controller, well, we're going to run the tried and true and tested. This is the Sirius Pro F3, SPF3 flight controller. And that's a really good flight controller. And as far as motors, well, this was the my customer that um, I'm doing the Storm 370, the transplant, the power transplant. Um that's coming up pretty soon on the channel guys we've uh, waiting for some parts but um, he heard that I told him that I was interested in maybe purchasing these motors because these came off of his and he heard what I was going to use it for he's like ah you just keep them so I really appreciate that donating to the cause and so these are the storm 2212 980 kV motor so I'm going to be running um, a nine or a 10 inch prop on this I'm not sure and so um, and running higher voltage and so this will probably 5s um, these will be perfect I mean you know depending on uh, once I get it up in the air I'll see if, if 4s does it which it probably will with these because um, I think that's what yeah the stock power system on that 370 was used a um, 
for S lipo. So the, that's probably what I'll use because I'm not looking for power. But this is nice because one of the reasons that in this situation that it's going they fly so stable is because they're these props are swinging slower. You know, we've got a bigger prop. We've got a you know a lot of pitch on these props. And so these 980 kV motors are kind of just swinging slow and keeping it really nice and smooth in the air. So that's really it. Um, you know, I probably I'm, I'm imagining that that's probably not going to be enough voltage for everything. So I'm probably going to run a five volt regulator on here so that I can power to power the TBS or um, whatever I end up using. But this should be a good trainer. Uh, once I get it built, we'll kind of show you and um, have some flight footage so you can see. And you know, a lot of you guys have these laying around these frames and it's not too expensive to um, upgrade some parts to it. So um, hopefully, you know, we can um, kind of pay it forward and get these, these younger guys into flying and this is a fun way to do it. So. That's about it, guys. Appreciate you a lot. Check out my website, xframesfpv.com. Thanks to Banggood for providing this Predator ESC 30 amp for review. They sent me four of these for review. And so thanks to them for doing that. And check out their website, banggood.com. And I hope you guys get some time to fly. I didn't say fly. I said fly. I know it sounded like fly, but it was fly. <laughs> thanks so much. Thanks so much.